fire away. Season three. What's up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. We have a special episode. This time, we're going to do a breakfast MRE. So we have one. I, have you ever had this one? No, I actually avoided the breakfast MREs like the plague. But I also only remember the omelet. Ah, <laughs> the omelet. Yeah. That thing was so bad, even the military banned it. They don't have it anymore. That's probably a good call. It was a good call. That thing was absolutely yeah. inedible. It was disgusting. So, but hopefully that this one is better. This is a hash brown potatoes with bacon, pepper, and onions. That sounds great. It's not bad. Yeah. I don't We're know if pair it with coffee. Yeah. For a change. There we go. So breakfast MRE, we're going to pair it with coffee. So just so happens that Andy has his own coffee. I have my own blend of coffee. You have your own <laughs> blend of coffee. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> For clarity. For clarity. All right. So we're going to pair it with the Black Rifle Andy Edition Cleared Hot. How do you say it? How do you pronounce How do you like present that? Do you see Andy that? Edition anywhere on that? It just says Cleared Hot Blend. So I'll just take this over here. I'm gonna start boiling the water now. I use an electronic kettle. I go to 197 degrees. So while you are unpacking this, I'm gonna get the water ready because there's a procedure I like to follow. Well, okay. I well, like to rinse out the filter, heat up the carafe, then you put the coffee actually in there and then you pour, pour over after it blooms, of course. Well, this is something I'm seriously interested in. I actually started doing pour over recently. Yep. So. I know the bloom is to get the gas out, right? Uh, from my understanding, it opens up the beans itself. So it allows them to express their flavor more fully. Okay. And then you want to wet the um, filter beforehand so that well, way you don't get the, the flavor of the filter in there? Correct. Yeah. So you, I heat it up though, the water first, so that when you are rinsing the filter out, it's also heating up the carafe. Ooh. Why would you want to heat up the carafe? Because Evan does. And I mean, if, if anybody knows coffee, it's that That's guy. correct. <laughs> so so where I learned how to do the pour over coffee was from, because Black Rebel has their own, it's like a separate channel that teaches you how to do the coffee. Um, and I wanted to know what the best way to do coffee was. So I started getting into pour over uh, and it's been the best thing. So what I do is I do the pour over, have my cup of coffee in the morning and then the rest goes into a glass into the fridge. So in the afternoon, iced. I do iced coffee for the afternoon. It's phenomenal. Anyway, let's get into this MRE while that's heating up. Wait a minute, real quick, time out. What's the purpose of the temperature of the water and why do you set it at that temperature? That's something I haven't done yet. So again- I've been boiling the water in a boil. Going back to what Evan has told me, I'm not an expert at this, uh, too hot of a water will uh, burn the bean. Okay, so or then you'll the get ground, a different flavor out of the coffee. Correct, it's a little bit too much. So somewhere between 195 to 201 is what he said. So 197 sits right in between. Perfect, I'm gonna start doing that at home. Yep. All right, let's dig in and see this. This is gonna be the first time for both of us because neither of us have seen this MRE. I think it's a, it's probably a replacement to the omelet, to be honest. They wanted I hope so. a breakfast MRE that doesn't suck as bad as the omelet. So take a little half face, half face blades knife and cut that open. Mm. Smooth like butter. This one's sick, by the way. Did, does he, will he ever make that one again or is it always like a different? Um, that was part of a chef set. So I don't know if you can get that one individually. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what this thing comes with. So we're opening this up and get rid of that. We have Hash brown potatoes with bacon. Oh, so it's all in one package. Yeah, and so we can get this out of the way. This is season three, so most people should be familiar with the accessory pack, which you're gonna get a napkin, matches, towelette, gum, creamer, a bunch of other stuff if you wanna have that. And then in every one of these MREs likely is gonna be a chemical heater, mm -hmm. which will actually end up going into one of these sleeves so we don't have to cover it every single time. You pour water in here, you put it on a rock or something, heat up your meal and you're good to go. People ask a lot, why do you guys not heat them up? Hey guys, put them in the heater, put them in the heater. Well, for one, it stinks. Yeah. The chemical reaction stinks, and two, we're not actually, well, by we're, I'm not actually eating these, so. When is it, <laughs> it's just like, why are you gonna take the time to heat it up for me? It's a lot of time to heat up a food that's, it's, it, we're not gonna make this into some gourmet meal. I don't care how much you heat it. Agreed. It's still shitty food. So we just jump in to get the calories down. So, sorry guys. Not gonna heat it up. Not gonna heat it up here. Not gonna heat it up in the field. We just don't heat them. 
So granola with milk and blueberries, that's probably pretty good. If you were to open probably that dehydrated. up. Yeah. We got, Let's get a little bowl for it. Far away, put that granola in there. All right. You know you're hungry. I, <laughs> I am fucking hungry. We've had like a marathon day of filming content. Uh, doing jujitsu, we did breakfast, we did a podcast. And now we are here filming wine rations. It's been an amazing day. So let's pour that in there. Assuming that's just dehydrated, a little bit of water yeah. probably would. Uh, looks pretty good. Actually. It actually Blueberries. does look pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, we'll kind of let that soak up, get that blueberry flavor in there. I'm gonna eat that later. It's looking pretty good. Not sure that you would do anything much more than that. So then you have your cheese spread and your crackers. You know what? Instead of throwing this out, I'm not gonna eat it, but let's just plate it up. Plate it up. So we'll show you guys what we would do if we're in the field. These crackers, you've seen the cracker challenge that we've done. You can't eat these by themselves. They will destroy you. So typically you wanna get some of that, you wanna get that all massaged up. Oh, that smells amazing. It's good coffee. Oh, all right. And then I really like to get that corner off. So that way you could just squeeze that cheese out of there. Oh, God. Ugh. Stubborn cheese. Golly. It's just what it's like coming out of your butt. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's on the way in, same as the way out. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, cinnamon bun. Dude, I these are amazing. Are they? Yeah, these are really good. These are really good. No joke, guys, this is a game changer. This one is amazing. So the cinnamon bun. Does it come with frosting? Shelf stable, no. Oh, oversight. Oof, dude, that You sure thing. that's good? Yeah, 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 no. Well, I say that, that before. Is that tasty? This thing, oh yeah, I'm gonna smell that. You'll actually like that, dude. That's not bad. It just smells like a Pop-Tart. But that'll go great with some coffee. So this is probably a good breakfast. I'm gonna eat that. I ain't gonna lie to you. We've been filming all day, I haven't had time to eat. I'm gonna eat that. All right, and then let's get the main meal. So if you guys that wanna see the MREs, we don't wanna, we don't wanna, you know, shortchange you. So the cashews, jalapeno flavor. For you guys, we will get these out so you can check them out. Because some people out there, you have MREs, you don't want to open them maybe. They like seeing them opened. I don't know. Some people really like seeing MREs get opened and, and eaten. So cashews, jalapenos. I mean, you get what you get. Very good. Straightforward. Yep. Tastes delicious. This is the new part of it. This is the hash, hash brown potatoes with bacon. So this I'm actually really excited about. I can't wait to see. Let's get that rolled up. Oh, what are you doing, man? Making you coffee. You gotta explain it. Come on, this is a big deal. You pour the water over the coffee. Did you do the, the pour over? The, did you, the balloon? The I did. Yeah, let it sit for about a minute. I have no idea why, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the video and it was like, some, like, he looked like a super hipster. There's so like I a chemical him. reaction that occurs that I'm not familiar with, but I've been told the coffee is better. Yeah, he said it's to let the gases get out um, so that way it doesn't go into the coffee and then All you right. taste it. I believed him. He was very hipster-like, and I feel like that is something that they take a lot of pride in. Oh, that doesn't look great. You want cream in your coffee or straight? Uh, a little cream would be fantastic. Oh, man. Well, needless to say, the bacon does not smell like bacon. It smells like ham. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like kind of like a, an aged ham. So there you have it guys. There is our new breakfast meal. It's your hash browns and 
bacon with uh, cheese and crackers, and then this delicious thing, um, which I forget what it's called, but the cinnamon bun. The cinnamon bun is so good. And I think this cinnamon bun was actually gonna be good paired with a good cup of coffee. So I'm actually gonna eat that with the coffee. So I think you're supposed to let it rest or sit. Okay. In the interest of not being douchebags, we're just gonna have some <laughs> immediately. You're supposed to stir it. Did you have a ratio? I know the ratio is a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. You didn't have a ratio. However much water that I poured. <laughs> Go. Frag out. That's oh, a cool cup. What's the difference between somebody mm. yelling frag out and somebody yelling grenade? I don't know. You don't? No. Holy shit. I thought frag, you served in the special forces. Frag out's going and grenade's coming? Correct. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Very different meanings. What do you think of the coffee? Oh, that's delicious. It's actually yeah. the best of the, the blends that I've had. In my completely biased opinion, all you're missing is this. So good. I think that's gonna pair. If this can't help the hash browns, I don't know what will. So Seems like more hash browns than what was the actual name of the meal? Hash bacon. Browns? Hash browns and it's supposed to be hash browns and bacon. It's not too bad. I'm looking at that much more like hash browns, potatoes with bacon, pepper, and onions. All right. Looks like mostly potato. Looks like all potato. Yep. Funny story. Uh, Where's the protein in this meal? The bacon. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Whatever bacon's in there. So we actually had a, um, a moment when a buddy of mine threw a grenade he meant to throw over a wall and it hit a tree and it came back on our side of the wall and then almost blew up our, our uh, Charlie. That's not good. Yeah, old Jer Bear. So Jer Bear almost caught a frag to the leg. <laughs> he actually did take a piece to his leg, but he was fine. All right, so let's taste this. This is probably... God, it looks like shit. That looks like shit, but I'm hungry. I'm looking forward to that part, though. Mm. So it's just very hammy. Like, almost like Spam with uh, the texture of a potato in there. I feel like they fried up some Spam, diced it up, called it bacon, threw yep. it in there. That's exactly what happened. There's no way that that's bacon. But you know what, the, pot the potatoes wouldn't be bad. If the potatoes, if they would have just left like just the potato, I almost feel like the meat ruins it. Like why do we have to have meat in there? You have to taste the granola. It doesn't look appealing. Mm -mm. Let's see if the coffee helps. Dude, honestly, if I was in the field, that would be a good day. If I got some But pork... if you were in the field and had a warm cup of pour over coffee, that'd <laughs> be a fucking do... great day. You're doing phenomenal. Yeah. All right, let's try this, the granola. I think you might have added a touch too much water. I too. think I did too much water, but it's completely blue. That's a lot of blueberries. Mm. Granola. Yeah. Blueberry granola. This thing is amazing. This is actually going to hit with this coffee. Mm. Good? It's so good. Dude, try that one. No. Dude, that with a cup of coffee. No. Hang on, this is a rare moment on wine rations. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a good. A rare moment of enjoyment. Yeah. Well, I'm actually enjoying something we're eating. Mm. Oh, man. Dude. You're missing out. I'm telling you, don't. I'm you know not leading you astray. You this know what's weird with the in this though is the cracker and cheese. That cracker and cheese can go fuck itself. Nobody wants cracker and cheese. Well, it's just not a breakfast food. Mm -mm. They could have put. They should have put like a ham slice or a protein of some source of protein in this meal. That's all carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. mm. And that cheese is just a cork. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? You don't want to partake? 100% sure. What cream did you put in that? In the coffee? Heavy whipping cream. Mm. 36%. It's no big deal. Oh, killed it. Kalispell Creamery. Local. It's fine. All right. Do we have anything to add about the coffee? 
I don't think so. Just I, I think consistency is the key with coffee. Find what you like. Um, for boiling water, I have found this electronic kettle to be phenomenal because you just dial it, hit the button, and it's always yeah. right there. It's the quickest way to bring it to a boil that I've found. The pour over is a little bit of a slower process, but I think it nets the best coffee. I agree. I agree. I just recently started doing pour over. Pour over. Before that was French press. Yep. And I like the French press. I don't think you're wrong with French press. And then, and your coffee comes ground, so you could just easily throw that in the French press. Yep. But something about pour over, and I'm telling you, when you refrigerate it, the, the pour over with an iced coffee, hmm. to me, is money. I do a little bit, full disclosure, I do a little bit of full cream, and then I do a little bit of... Um, um, what is full cream? I don't know, the not, the regular, like the full, not half and half. What is it when it's full? It's the cream. Cream. There you go. <laughs> I do cream. So cream with the, an almond, vanilla almond. Mix those a little bit, not a lot, and then whip it with that. I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name. Yeah, of it. like foams bzzz. it up. Yeah, the little bzzz yep. thing. You foam it up, and then I pour it into my iced coffee that's been cooling since breakfast. And I have that at noon, and I just slam it. And it's freaking brilliant. Very bougie. Yeah, super bougie. Yeah. Well, that's Evan's fault, man. I just drank normal coffee until I met him, but I sure. like it. All right, guys, I hope you liked that episode. Um, if you're wondering, I mean, that's that's not a bad meal. For ones that we've tried, that's pretty tasty. And it's if you pair- the tamest meal you've had. Yeah, that is super chill. I've actually found enjoyment in the cinnamon bun uh, deal because it's delicious and it pairs perfectly with a cup of coffee. So if you're going to the field, figure out how to take with you uh, some field expedient coffee making uh, equipment so you could do some pour over coffee in the field. I'm not going to lie to you, MRE aside, if you could do pour over coffee in the field, it's a good day. you're going to have a good fucking day. And not only that, you're going to make the people around you very fucking happy. So if you have to deal with red cards and blue cards, so negative peer evals and positive peer evaluations, having some pour over coffee to hand out to the boys, that will sit just right. All right, guys, I hope you liked that episode, and we'll see you on the next one. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Thank you. Get it. Pretty tame. It's just a breakfast one. Yeah. But it actually is really good with the coffee, like no joke.